Welcome to today's DDRX. I'm talking about COVID-19 lockdown lessons. Our anchoring scripture is Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. Uh, the second lesson is contentment contentment. We live in a culture that is not content. It is as if our needs cannot be met. You know, we have a culture of consumerism. With this pandemic, we are learning contentment. Many things we thought was not possible. We are now knowing that it's possible. In 1 Timothy 6, 6, Paul wrote, Now godliness with contentment is great gain. You know, our culture has been dictating our needs. And human tendency is always to want more, to want better or to want something different. So a lot of needs, a lot of wants, a lot of competition. In fact, many consume their tomorrow today. Many eat their seed. The word contentment simply means to be satisfied. So the lockdown shows again that contentment is not a gift. It proves that contentment can be learned. Most households have reduced their three cars to one. <laughs> They've canceled their insurance. So they can, you know, they can handle one car now. So there's no show off, no party, no dining, no shopping. And humans are still living. Do you know that the goal of advertiser is to make you buy things? They work on your needs. So no commercial, for example, on buying water or food. Because needs, no needs, basic item of necessity. You know, those things, they can easily be met because you need to meet them. But today, need exceed wants. But through this lockdown, we have learned to be contented. Just like Paul wrote in Philippians 4, 11 to 13, not that I speak in regard to need, for I've learned in whatever state I am to be content. I know how to be at base, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things, I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You know, in order to be contented, uh, let me tell you three principles. Focus on Jesus. Pursue godliness. Godliness with contentment is great gain. And you need to accept the sovereignty of God. Know that God is in control or in charge. And through this pandemic, through this lockdown, we have seen that man, human, is not in charge, but God. No wonder. We're learning contentment. Thank you.